Good morning, Tackle Warehouse fans. Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. Rolling in, kind of mid, uh, mid-May mid time frame. Right now, there could be a bunch of stuff going on. You could be getting into that shad spawn. One thing for sure, Memorial Day is right around the corner, and the pleasure boaters are about to be out and ruining the lake for everyone. So you make sure you want to get out there while you can before the lake is just full of jet skis and wakeboards and all that kind of jazz. So we got a bunch of stuff for you today, going from some rods and reels, some lure customization stuff, uh, some new accessories, jump right into the first one. The new one from, uh, we got bait fuel now. So we've had, we've had bait fuel for a little bit. Um, this is an awesome new scent that's come out. I mean, it's made a big impact on a few of the professional circuits. If you've been paying attention to any of the live coverage, a lot of guys are using this stuff and this stuff is flying out the door. So you wanna get it while you can. So a couple of fisheries biologists helped create this scent. So they've used a couple compounds that are water soluble that are found, that it, compounds that are gonna be found in like your natural bait fish prey. So, you know, stuff that fish are already eating, they're using those compounds in this, in this scent and it's water soluble. So it dissolves, it makes a big scent field and fish, you know, can hone in on it. They can, they can sense it from a long ways away and they're gonna come in, they're gonna bite and they're not gonna let go. So, I mean, bait fuel is awesome. We, like I said, we've already sold a pile of it. So you wanna get some while we still got it in stock. If you're, you wanna take the bait field to the next level, we got the Bambooey Bear Scent Injector. So it's got a couple needles on the inside there. So this is made to actually inject scent into soft plastic. So if you've ever used scent on your soft plastics, you know some of them, depending on the formulation of the material, some of them dissolve relatively quickly and you gotta reapply, and reapply, reapply, you know, all throughout the day. With this scent injector, you're gonna be able to inject some scent into your soft plastic and you're gonna get kind of more of a time released, um, you know, a slower dispersion of that scent. So it's gonna slowly disperse out over a longer period of time and you're not gonna to have to keep reapplying scent constantly throughout the day. You know, every few casts, some of that stuff will wear off relatively quickly. This is gonna stretch your scent out a lot longer and just be more effective out there and not having to constantly reapply. So, you know, something just to change it up a little bit, especially a lot of plastics that don't come scented, this is gonna be something you wanna to add to the, to the arsenal. You know, just take, the, take those soft plastics up to the next level. Now, we got a bunch of stuff from Nori's and we're super excited about all this stuff. Um, all this stuff that we got is some of the baits and things that Taku Edu has been using on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And we've seen him catch some awesome, you know, some big fish and win some tournaments on, on this gear. So the first one here is our new finesse jig. As you can see, this is a really, really small jig. Nori's is actually making this jig with a resin tungsten material and it has a flat head design. With that tungsten material on the head and the flat design, you're gonna get really good feel, uh, feel with bottom contact. And then that flat spot on the bottom is gonna get your trailer to stand up perfectly on the bottom and get your trailer in that perfect, you know, crawdad defensive position. It's got a really small hand tied skirt on there. Pretty stiff little fiber weed guard on there. Relatively, um, you know, feels like it has a lot more weed shedding capabilities than some of the other finesse jigs. That little hook, it's a fluorine coated, super, super sharp hook. There's actually a monofilament keeper on the back here. So it's gonna hold those little plastics on there really, really well. It is a super, it is a super small finesse jig, but Takuidu actually caught an eight pounder on this jig at the Lake Fork event last year. So big fish are still gonna eat these things. And if you fish it right, you're gonna need spinning tackle with this and you're still gonna be able to land big fish with these little jigs. I mean, certain times of year, especially the kind of that May time frame, it's sometimes fishing can be pretty tough and the finesse jig should be in your arsenal. A couple other things should be in the arsenal for that May time frame when the fish are finicky. We got the new Chibi, uh, Nori's Escape Chibi Creature Bait. So really small, really small creature bait. I believe it's just a, it's a three inch model. These things are loaded with scent. I mean, they're, they're super greasy, so they're gonna have a, a big scent field in the water. This little guy, it, what it's made to do is when you throw it in the water, all those appendages are gonna collapse down. It's gonna glide through the water really nicely. And then when it stops, all this stuff's gonna open up and you're gonna get kind of that flaring crawdad imitation. And then these, uh, these pinchers on here, these are actually gonna get this bait to kind of swim up and down, just like how a crawdad would in the water. When you see them darting off, it's gonna have that same kind of action that crawdads produce when they're trying to escape from bass and stuff like that. So, you know, you can get, use this on like a one-aught uh, EWG style hook, throw it on like a really, really small finesse like Texas rig, throw it on a little uh, Carolina rig, split shot. It's even small enough, you can even drop shot it if you want. Awesome new little uh, finesse plastic. If you're looking for something a little bit bigger from Nori's, we got the, 
this new, uh, the new flapper bait. So this creature bait, I believe it's the Ford flapper actually. Um, this, this bait, it's got um, two little boot tails on the side instead of just the, like the little curly arms that you see on most other creature baits out there on the market. This has got like little swim bait tails on it. So it's gonna get a lot of kicking action even on those little side arms. And then it's got two big tails on there. So it's gonna disperse a lot of water. I believe it's about a four inch size. You know, you're gonna catch anything from one pounders all the way up to 10 pounders if you throw it in the right piece of cover. Um, they got some heavy ribbing on there. So that's gonna hold your, uh, hold your hooks in there really, really well. Get those hook points nice and buried in there. Keep it nice and weedless. Again, loaded with scent. So another, another element just to help get more bites. The last one we got here is their new Tough Bug Popper. This is one of the coolest little poppers I've seen in a long time. So yeah, it is a finesse style popper. It's two and a half inches. It weighs a third of an ounce. You can throw it on bait casting equipment or spinning equipment, but just gonna be deadly this time of the year. You know, if you have that shad spawn going on, popper's a great thing to throw in the morning and the evening, especially these smaller sizes, you know, more compact when there's a lot of, when there's a lot of other angling pressure out there on the water. You want to go with that smaller profile when there's a lot of people out there casting at them they're seeing poppers walking baits and, and and all kinds of stuff buzz baits that little popper is going to be just something a little bit more finesse it's going to have a little bit more subtle of a of a splashing action to help you catch a few more of those pressured fish going to be another great option for ponds so if you fish a lot of ponds that are loaded with a lot of smaller fish that little popper is going to be a great option sticky sticky sharp treble hooks on there got already comes with the the hand tied feather on the back so you don't need to upgrade hooks or anything. It's ready to fish right out of the package. All right, so if you're into making some of your own baits, we got a couple different things for you today. So the first one here is the new Do It Precision Series molds. So these molds are a little bit higher quality. They're more refined than the Essential Series of molds. These Precision CNC molds, they're, they're made out of machine billet aluminum. And the CNC is just gonna get you much cleaner lines and cleaner pores whenever you're making any of your favorite soft plastics like this little swim bait here. So when you're comparing these molds to say like their Essential Series molds, there is a big price difference between the Essential Series and the CNC aluminums, but the quality of, of pour that you're gonna get out of these precision CNCs is gonna be much better and, high, and a lot more refined than, than the Essential Series. The Essential Series kind of has almost like a rough texture to it, um, which isn't bad, it still looks great. But these, uh, these precision CNC uh, molds are gonna look more like high production plastics that you would buy in the store. Really clean lines, They're, your baits are gonna come out really clear and sharp. Just something, if you're looking for more of a refined plastic, if you're looking to make that at home in your garage, <laughs> maybe pour up some different kind of like uh, colors and stuff that, that, you don't, that you don't have access to or something you've always wanted to and that nobody else makes, this is gonna be the way to go from, uh, from Do It Molds. So if you're making a little swim bait and you need some swim bait heads to customize, DNL's got you covered. So this DNL swim bait head, we carried it a couple years ago and then it was discontinued and now we finally brought it back. So if it looks familiar to you, it's cause it's pretty much exactly the same thing as the old revenge heads. So um, a lot of guys, especially around here in our office, we are huge fans of that revenge swim bait head, but unfortunately the owner of revenge passed away a little while ago and they, uh, they don't make the revenge heads anymore. So if you're looking to get your hands on that revenge swim bait head, uh, you can get these from DNL and you can kind of customize them yourself. So we got them in white and then the unpainted lead. So you can paint them up however you want. You can add the eyes onto them, but everything else is exactly the same with the gills and all the details in the face and stuff like that. What's great about these ones from DNL, we have them in a wide selection of sizes. I believe we have them in everything from like an eighth all the way down to three quarters of an ounce. And then as you can see here, we have multiple hook options as well. So you can get it in a small four odd hook and get a six odd hook you know, whatever size hook you need, you can kind of, you know, dial it into the size head and the size hook you need. If you're pouring your own swim baits, you want to customize some heads to match them up, the DNL swim bait head is going to be the way to go. All right, some more kind of terminal pieces we got for you today. We got a few new things from Team Davies. This first one, super cool little jig design. So this is the, the Ventana Jigger Jig. So it's kind of a cross between like, maybe like a Jika rig or a Tokyo rig, just kind of something different. So it's a free swinging EWG style hook. It's got a long throat on it, so it's gonna hold plastics on there really well. There's actually a little micro barb on there too to help, help kind of hold that plastic. And then on the bottom, you're gonna have this, uh, this free swinging teardrop weight that's actually got a rattle built into it. So you're gonna add a little bit of sound 
and you got the skirt up there on front. So you're still gonna get that jig profile, but with this jigging rig, you know, when you pitch it into something, that weight's gonna go first and pierce right through cover. Your bait's gonna stay up and out of the silt and everything on the bottom. Uh, it's gonna keep that bait in more an elevated position. And then you're gonna get much better hookups uh, with this style of jig versus like a Texas rig or a standard jig because you don't have all that weight in the front of the hook and in front of the line tie. So it's just, it's all a hook. So it eliminates that weight kind of being in the front and, uh, and blowing out the fish's mouth. So you're gonna get a little bit better hookup ratios. If you're looking for just that weight, they sell that, uh, the rattling weight and a drop shot weight. And then we also just got the weight in what they're calling like a free rig or drop shot style weight. So it's got the tie on style line tie. So if you're doing a lot of free rigs, you wanna add some noise. So you got a little subtle rattle in there. It's just a little glass rattle in there, but you got the tie on style so you can feed it directly on the line if you wanna do a free rig, or you can tie it on for like a punch shot or power shot or whatever you want. When you're drop shotting in heavier cover and you don't want to lose a bunch of weights, I mean, sometimes you get snagged up and you have the, when you have those clip styles, you'll lose a lot of weights. If you don't want that to happen, go with the tie on style there. Their last one, their straight up baller uh, ball head jig. So we got it in the 90 degree line tie. We also sell it in the 60 degree horizontal line tie as well. So just a nice little ball head. It's got a super sharp hook on it. They got a really oversized keeper that's spaced away from the shank of the hook and that's gonna hold your plastic on there really, really well. This time of the year, when the fish are kinda of in that funk between post-spawn and being out on the ledges in the summertime, the little swim bait can be a deadly, deadly uh, you know, way to catch bass. So this is gonna be a great little swim bait head. You can throw it in tubes and stuff like that if you want as well. They actually got the weights stamped onto the side, so you always know what you got. Sweet little jig head, um, the straight up baller from Team Davies. All right, got some new lines. So if you're doing anything from maybe some light inshore fishing to full on offshore fishing. We got a uh, new Sunline Saltimate 100 pound, uh, Saltimate fluorocarbon all the way up to 100 pound test. So this is a pretty awesome line. Sunline's using their new triple resin, triple resin uh, pouring technology. And what they're doing with using three different resins in this fluorocarbon line, they're actually able to fill in all the little microscopic gaps in the line. So you're gonna get a line that's a lot slicker, it's a lot smoother and more abrasion resistance, which is gonna be key for fishing some of that big, the, some of those big saltwater species and fishing around reefs and stuff like that. Or if you just need a strong fluorocarbon, if you're, if you're doing braid to leaders and you want to fish some pretty nasty cover, maybe uh, you know, some, some deep ledges or something like that and your fluorocarbon's getting torn up, you might wanna give this a shot. We have it all the way down to I believe 12 pound but then all the way up to 100 pound if you're chasing after big tuna and stuff like that. And on these spools, they do come with this kind of uh, braided band on the outside, the stretchy band to keep it from unraveling because with 100 pound, you know, it's, it's a stiffer line. And as soon as, you undo, as soon as you undo it, then you know, that stuff's gonna start uncoiling. That's just gonna keep it from un unraveling and prevent any kind of line management issues. But super strong line. I'm super pumped to try it out this year. The bluefin are already here and so, uh, you know, they're catching them in Southern California. Wanna try that out on some big ones. All right, we got a bunch of reels from 13 Fishing. This is their whole radioactive series. Um, the, so we have the Kalon radioactive spinning reels. This is the radioactive. And then the green one, we got the radioactive pickle. So they're, it's the same reel, just two different, just two different colors, uh, giving you a few different options. As you can see, these things are loud. Um, if you want someone to see you fishing from all the way across the lake, this is gonna be the way to go. Um, these, are, these are made to match up with their new radioactive series of rods. They're, we haven't got them in stock yet, but they're gonna be here within the next few weeks or so. So if you wanna match it up with orange reel, orange rod, green on green, whatever you want, they're gonna have uh, rods to match this series of reels. Um, on the spinning reel, uh, they have a uh, digi-cut aluminum gear on the inside. It's a six bearing system. So it's super, super smooth. They have performance drag, and they did this oversized kind of knob on the top uh, where, you, where you actually spin your drag to adjust it. It's a little bit oversized than most of the other reels. Instead of just giving you that little spot in the middle to, to twist and adjust your drag, um, it's, a lot over, it's a lot easier to actually crank the drag and adjust it when you need to. When something's happening quick, you got a big small mouth about to take a run, you need to you know, spin the drag a little bit. It's a lot easier with this style. Um, big oversized rubber knobs. I mean, it's super comfortable. It's really, really smooth. And I believe they come in about like 89 bucks. So pretty awesome reel for 89 bucks compared to some of the other reels that are on the market for that price point. 
Uh, same thing with the casting rods. These actually have a seven bearing system in there as well. Still, again, that you know precision cut CNC aluminum gear on the inside, and they feel really nice in your hand when you start cranking on these things compared to some of the other $89 reels that are on the market. On the side here, they do have the beetle wing side plate, so you click this, it opens up the side, and you can adjust the centrifugal brake system on the inside. It's a one in six position. It's actually super easy to adjust. We were playing with it, checking it out. Um, before we shot this, you can dial that brake into whatever you want. So if you're throwing really light lures, really heavy lures, doesn't matter, you can fine tune this thing and you'll be ready to go. Performance drag on this one as well, so it has a ton of cranking power. Those big, you know, rubberized knobs are gonna provide just a really tacky finish and they're really comfortable to uh, when, you're, when you're reeling on this thing. Gonna be nice to fish in kind of all weather conditions. One of the other things that I really like that they did with this casting reel is they put this little notch here on the frame is they put a hook keeper system. So a lot of guys are, you know, hook, you know, put their, put their hook or the treble hook or whatever they're fishing right there on the frame of the reel already anyway, especially if you have a rod that doesn't have a hook keeper, but even rods that do have hook keepers, a lot of guys just like running their, uh, you know, running their hooks right there on the frame anyway. With that little notch system on there, that little hook keeper system, it's gonna prevent your hooks from sliding back and forth all across the frame and scratching up your reels. So it's gonna keep it locked into one place and not scratch up the frame of your reel. Pretty awesome little design. Personally, I, I, you know, I always try to find a hook keeper, but if you like to put your, your hooks right there on your reel, that's gonna be a great option for you. Down on the spool, they do have the line tie on there. So they have a braid ready spool. You don't have to worry about tape or anything like that. You're not gonna get any braid slip tied directly on there and you're not gonna have any issues. All right, last one up. We got a new rod from Abu Garcia. So the new Vendetta series, we, got, we finally got the two pieces in stock. So we got the Vendettas a while ago, but now we have the two piece options if you're looking for a two piece rod for traveling purposes. So we have uh, spinning rods and casting rods, both in two piece. So if you're hiking into a lot of ponds, if, you, uh, if you're just traveling, you want to keep one in your car and not take up a bunch of space, two piece is going to be the way to go. 30 ton graphite blanks, so they're really light, super sensitive, really strong. The Vendetta series has been a rock solid series of rods for a long, long time. My buddy had one and fished it for years until he let it fall off his flow tube and it's in the bottom of the lake. But other than that, it was a rock solid reel or a rod for a long, long time. Uh, stainless steel guide frames, zirconia inserts. Uh, they have a super tacky finish on the back of the grips here. And then they have these carbon fiber reel seats on there. So really, really nice rods. I believe they come in about uh, 80, 89 bucks and uh, backed by Abby Garcia's warranty. So if you're looking for a travel series of the Vendetta, really cost effective, really nice rods, check these new two pieces out from Abby Garcia. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.